Okay, welcome everyone to my first tutorial in my mini tutorial series. I get asked a lot for tips and tricks for CK and for modding Skyrim or Fallout in general, so I decided to put some of them up on videos. Uh, this series assumes that you can you can get your way around the CK, like you know the basics like creating new ESP or making a new cell. And these are just the things you might not come to think of yet. One of the things is dragging and dropping into the object window to create new items, like uh, statics. You could add statics individually by going new, giving it an ID, browsing into the location where it is, or you can just drag and drop them all and throw them here. You may want to rename them beforehand because it's going to be the name of the static in creation kit is going to be the file name. Uh, you also may want to put all your mod items under a folder that has your name or your mod name. That way you have least, you'll have the least conflicts with other mods. So I have Eleonora and then under here are resource authors. So I, when I make a credits list, it's very simple. I want all of these house parts. They all make up a, a cabin and I don't want to add them individually. So here we go. Select them all by selecting one, holding shift, selecting another one, the last one there, and throwing them over here. It might think a while. I've already added them once, so my CK is working on them a bit faster than it may be for you because there's uh, like 30 objects. And CK is just going to think while it's adding them. And by the time it's done, you should be able to just uh, drag and drop them all into the render window. What these pieces are is uh, they are snappable pieces that are meant to go together so it's very easy to select them all at once and build the cabin. Here I have my demo cell that can go and we're just gonna if you want to find your most recently added items you can uh, sort by form ID that will show uh, more added stuff on the top. Now I just select all of these again and drag them over here into the render window. Again it's gonna think a little bit. It might not but it, it selects all as soon as it adds it so you can just move it into place when you need to. And now we match that fireplace there and there you have it doesn't get much more simple than that. As you can see, they are all individual pieces, but because they are meant to go together and build up this house, I can just drag them all here and they sort of go into their correct position. Well, that's about it. You can, you can do it for all kinds of items, like I want to add this cabin, that's the exterior. I just drag it there, it's gonna think a while, and now it added the exterior version of it. Wrong one. Go away. There you go. So you can see, you can just add that. Or if you have a bunch of um, big static decorations, you can just drag and drop them all here. They will be named with the file name. And you can just put them here. If you want to focus the camera on something, you can just select the object, hold shift and press F and it will focus on the object. Well, that's it for today. Stay tuned for more uh, tiny little tricks and tips.